the crowd energy here is electric. You know, I feel like I, I remember following demo all over again. Starship for years now. <laughs> And hopefully you'll all the way from when it was, you know, MTC, ITS, BFR, the presentations, the switch from carbon fiber to stainless steel, when we saw Starhopper being built in a field and with nothing else around. The, the, the test flights, the high altitude test flights, which were the, the gleaming light during the horror that was like 2020 and all of that. And here we are. This is the rocket that takes us back to the moon. This is the rocket that potentially takes us to Mars. It's, this is something that revolutionized the satellite industry, enable massive um, observation telescopes to be launched, will open up space, massive... Oh, I can't, I can't. It, uh, today is a really major day. It's like the beginning of a new era. And his oh the TVC checkouts. We're currently inside ninety seconds. Oh wow. That's major activity T minus forty seconds. That is a gate or decision point. We're waiting possibility the propulsion team may need. And a you know minutes. this this probably won't go entirely to plan today. The chances of of ship twenty four actually making it all the way to Hawaii are slim. Yeah, there's so many things that could go wrong here. You, even just max Q, the, the stage separation, the the Raptor ignition in high altitude, the the heat shield, the reentry, the uh, there's so much here that needs to be tested, and that's why SpaceX are amazing because they do these fast iterations and they test and they fail and they're happy to fail. It's a complete different way. Oh, the past forty seconds. It's a revolutionary way of doing this and building spaceships and it's incredible what it's done for Falcon 9 and now here we are with Starship, a fully reusable vehicle. 35 seconds from launch. Come on, please go today. Okay, you can see the clock has recycled. Why? Flight director has called a hold. Okay, but it went recycling. at 40 seconds. For the moment, we'll see where they move the clock back to. They could hold at T minus 40 seconds. Okay, so it's not a scrub yet. Earlier point. Give us a minute to listen into the nets, and we'll see if we can it's get more It's fine. It's not a scrub yet. There. It's fine. It's not a scrub yet. <sighs> Amazing views here coming to us from Starbase, Texas. Uh, okay. I think we're back. 30 seconds. Oh, okay. That's not a lot of time to mentally prepare. Okay, 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 okay. Please, Raptor engines, don't fail us now. You've got 30, 33 Raptors that you need to get started, need to come up to thrust, and need to clear before we can release this thing. We're at T minus 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. There go the Raptors. Are we going? Are we going? Are we going? <gasps> oh my God! Oh my God! Starship Super Heavy is flying. Starship Super Heavy is flying and is clear of the launch tower. <sighs> Come on. A ready, a ready, really good sign. Uh, stage zero is pretty safe at this point. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know how many Raptors are firing. We don't know how well this is going. It's still gaining speed. It's at two kilometers high. <laughs> Nearly 650 kilometers an hour. This is a success. This is already a success. 700 kilometers an hour. So, okay, multiple Raptors are out. There are a lot of Raptors out. I don't know if it's going to reach even stage separation. That is a lot of engines out, but already a success. I don't think we're going to Hawaii today. 
which means we might get an air blast or a fireball in the sky. It is not, it is not picking up speed all that fast. But again, stage zero is safe. I can't take my eyes off the screen. I can't. I can't. AOS Houston. They might still go for a um a shutdown and a stage separation, even if there isn't the Delta V to actually get to Hawaii, because you know what's the problem with a stage separation? You might as well try it out and just see where you get to. They have lost one, two, three, four, five Raptors. Oh my God! Also, I don't know, they might have said on the stream what they're going to do with, with the losses right now. They might have already said that it's okay, but I'm too busy talking to myself. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of spin. That's a lot of spin. I think we're about to get maybe AFTS. I don't know. I'm just thinking that that is... That is... Continuing to fly... Still flying, but losing speed. Losing speed. I don't think we're getting a successful stage separation. It's tumbling. I think fireball is coming up. AFTS is probably about to kick in. Oh no, it's a flip. It's a flip for stage step. That's how it works. It yeets it like Starlink. I forgot. Come on. Successful stage separation. Please. Is it just tumbling? I, so they have separated. There's just no live camera views. They have separated, I think. Or not? No. I think stage separation is where this might be might be a failure today. As of right now, we are awaiting stage separation. What is this? This is just a back flipping rocket. Separate from the super heavy booster. I can't tell what's a separation events happened, I think. I don't know. Right now, it looks like we saw the start of the flip, but obviously we're seeing from the ground cameras the entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Okay, should have had separation. This is, uh, does not appear to be a so this is off nominal. This is like... Yeah, it does appear to be spinning, but I do want to remind everyone... So we are not getting an orbital velocity today. The tower was icing on the There's the boom! <laughs> That, that was a rousing success. They did not blow up the launch pad. I want to know how much of a boom, um, um, how much of a boom they had down at Starbase and down at um, South Padre Island. There's all the employees cheering because this is not a failure. This is how SpaceX do these things. They fly, they fail, they fix. They fly, they fail, they fix. SN8 didn't land. SN9 didn't land. SN10 landed and then exploded. SN11, we don't talk about. SN15, start the landing. We're going to get a Starship landing and a Starship, oh sorry, a Starship orbit soon. As we said before, Bravo. obviously we wanted to make it all the way through, but to get this far, honestly, it's amazing. <laughs> Rapid unscheduled disassembly. That. That was fantastic. I can't wait to see some of like the videos and the photos from that. So you never know exactly what's gonna happen. And I can't so wait to find out what went wrong. They did the they did the flippy flip, but the, the stages just didn't separate. We're gonna find so much interesting and cool data and information out of this. Of today's program, any and all the data that we collected during the test is gonna help us with the development of Starship and it's gonna be reliability. <laughs> I can't believe they didn't blow it up sooner. That is some ballsy AFTS. Shout out to our viewers. We appreciate you joining us. And as always, we thank you for your interest in Starship, SpaceX, and your ongoing support. Till next time. Let's go boost to nine. Let's go ship 25, 26. We don't know. <sighs> always a fun always always a fun experience watching a, an orbital rocket on its first attempt that was awesome <laughs>